Well, that's convenient. Hello and welcome back to the more gameplay of the Uncharted Part 2. There was something going on with my game. It crashed before, so I lost some footage. So that's why I'm in the middle of this action now. But it's not important what happened before. So let's go to the gameplay and have fun. Incoming! Damn, I'm a good shot! Coming down the middle! Shit! Help me, kid! You gotta- 
take out the tower. I got you, Sully. Let's try again. Shit! Help me, kid. You gotta take out the tower. I got you, Sully. Should be this way. Oh, Sully, look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Wow, this place must be thousands of years old. At least.
Down this way. Wow. Looks like we hit the jack. Ugh, must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. I think they're all that way. They must have taken refuge here during the tsunami. There's got to be some sort of clue around here. Let's check it out. Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. More resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. End at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Here we go again with the pushing. I think I hurt myself. The trail leads in here. Oh, man. More bodies. You know, maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, Nate. You're just getting spooked. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet, lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore. It's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim bears the golden passport. Oh, <laughs> right. Nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Let's get going.
I thought I saw something. I'm gonna go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Oh. Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick them. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you, Victor Goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a pathway path. to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Come on, keep moving. Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. Shit! They've spotted us! Run for it! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Watch it! Watch it! Oh, oh. Thanks for the heads up! Can you quit screwing around and get up here? Let's go! Jump? Oh, hold on there, son bitch. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Yeah, if we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Oh, come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. There they are! Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. <laughs> shit. When you said Lazarevich had a head start on us, you weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Oh, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh... Yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh oh, we got company. Oh great! Can you lose? I will stop the gameplay here in this tense moment. Come on. Nate, are you all right? I've been 
better. We're at the 20 minute mark. So next time we'll see more of the gameplay, Urban Warfare, part 5. Bye for now. Hey!